apparently you're going to get a video on my phone. Um, I'm trying my, for some reason, my camera on my computer will not, not acknowledge that it's there through my Logitech software. So I'm rebooting it. It's the second time I've rebooted. So I don't know what's happening. My hair is not brushed. That's okay. I didn't go anywhere. Didn't do anything. I laid down and took a little bit of a nap. Uh, today is Super Bowl Sunday, February dos. Um, Super Bowl Sunday, six years ago, I got Kitty. I got her on Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I don't, let me put you, can I put you here? I don't like holding it. I, hold on. I'm trying to balance you right. Oh, no. Oh, ah. Oh, yeah, this is not going to work. Poop. I thought maybe it would. Let me move that back. Can you balance right here? Wait, no. If I had something behind you, I could. It's the um, case I have on this phone. Oh, there. <laughs> um, let's log in. So, and I got her when she was about a year old. So, Kitty is now seven. I don't know what day she was born, so I always used to... Um, think of it as Super Bowl Sunday and I can't even remember what day it was that Super Bowl Sunday I got her either um, it was 2008 because it was um, February March like two months before mom passed away and uh, a few weeks before we got her we were at the Legion at the bar and um, dad's boyfriend um, Larry his wife said uh, my niece asked your dad if you wanted to get another cat and your dad's like you didn't and I'm like I, I've no one's ever I've never I never thought about getting another cat after a girl cat died because I just I really didn't and uh, I didn't know if my parents would want another cat in the house I didn't know what Heidi would think of her so I said, well, I looked at my mom and said, would you mind if I got another cat? Mom's like, I don't care. So two against one, dad was outnumbered. <laughs> so he come walking and I said, hey, I heard that you told people that I'm not interested in getting a cat. He was the one really not interested in getting another cat. So um, we talked to her niece and we went out to their farm. They lived in country. And she had been doing a program with the vet where she would take take the cats in in groups and they would um, spay and neuter them for a cheap price for her. So she could get the numbers under control, get them homes, and if she doesn't get them homes, they wouldn't multiply more on the farm. So we get there and there are quite a few cats. There's this little small um, barn thing it's, it was smaller than a barn, but bigger than a shed. And uh, we went in there, and there was um, stacks of straw. And uh, cats were kind of running up and around. Because, you know, they were farm cats. A little bit, some of them were very timid. And um, I saw one that looked like an orange tabby cat. And uh, I was petting him. He had really short hair. And I was petting him. And, well, I said, is this a boy or a girl? And he goes, it's a boy. I really wanted a female cat. I've always loved female cats. And uh, I've only had one male cat, and that was my first cat, Tigger. And he would always go out and just get all beat up. And then I had uh, Scruffy, female. Oh, I had Mickey, too. He was a male cat. I forgot about him. But uh, so I saw this cat, Kitty. And um, she had beautiful long hair. Her stomach was shaved, so I knew she had been uh, fixed. And I knew it was a female since they cut in her stomach. And her hair was just starting to grow back. And uh, I said, I think I'll get her. She was a little timid. And um, Dad's like, of course, you would pick the long-haired one. <laughs> and um, we put her in a carrier. We brought her home, sat her in the living room, opened the door, and just stood back because we didn't know what Heidi would do, what she would do. She slowly walked out and Heidi just followed her because she was used to a cat being here. She didn't chase her. 
she wasn't mean to her she didn't bark at her she was just like what's that and um that's not the cat i know so we at the time i lived in the basement and kitty was scared of everything like the first night when i turned the fan on you would have thought i was trying to kill her she wouldn't go anywhere near it uh, people walked around upstairs. She didn't know what to think of that. So she'd get scared and hide a lot. She was very timid at first because she all knew noises, you know. She's still a little bit timid. timid. Excuse me, I just burped. Cookie. So, so she, we've had her for six years now. And I'm going to see if my camera is going to work in my Logitech program. Boop. What do I do? See, it's coming up like this now. Look. It says, webcam was not found or not working properly. Check to make sure the camera is properly plugged in to the USB, which it is because I use it all the time. And then press the reconnect button. If I can't get this to work, I don't know what I'm going to do. Cause I'm not gonna vlog on my phone all the time because I save my vlogs in the computer that I do. I don't know what to do. All right, now I'm not gonna do anything. I think I'm just gonna shut it down and let it percolate overnight. Cause uh, I don't know what else to do. Usually when I have problems with it, if I restart it, it's all better. The cat's outside knocking on the door. So I'm just going to shut it down for the night. Because I don't even know where it's plugged in at. It's in the back, and I can't get to it. I don't know what's going to happen. I hate technical difficulties. Let's go over here to the door, shall we? We're rolling. We're going backwards. Come in, kitty. Whoops, she's over there. Hi, kitty. I was talking about you. Yeah, I was. I don't know if you've seen her. I'm gonna roll. Bye. I gotta find the right button.